Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We think we know what promo is coming up next inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and it sounds like that promo might be Foot Birthday. So we're going to talk about this promo because it's a massive one. Now, it usually comes out around this time of the year, but this is still a little bit early from when it is usually released. So we're going to take a look at the leaks today, talk about Foot Birthday in general, what this promo is usually about, as it is a really, really hype promo inside of the FIFA cycle that we look forward to every single year. And I also want to take a look at how the market might react to this, right? Again, we have some brand new interesting material to look at here on the transfer market search menu. As you see, icon moments are now searchable. They are leaked as well to be coming out this weekend. That could be intertwined with the foot birthday promo. We've seen it before. Icon moments and foot birthday have kind of coexisted uh, together as a promo. And then, of course, right now on the market, how is the leaks and how is this upcoming foot birthday potential promo going to impact the market that is very, very high at the moment? So we're going to take a look at all of that today and how this foot birthday could impact things on FIBA 22. So if you're excited for foot birthday, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get right into it and let's talk about this information that is being leaked. Now, usually we would look at this and be like, man, foot birthday, let's go. We're excited. This is big. It seems almost too good to be true because in the past few years, foot birthday has always been at the end of March because that's when the actual birthday of FIFA Ultimate Team is, right? I believe this is year number 13 uh, of FIFA Ultimate Team started in March 13 years ago. And this is a big promo, right? There's always really good cards that are released. You guys remember some of these items right back from FIFA 19. Like, look at how nuts these cards were. Stat-wise, a left-back Salah, a Marcelo right mid, striker Van Dyke, striker Gareth Bale, which we just had in Road to the Final, a Douglas Costa, right wing. I mean, you go through this FIFA 19 squad, FIFA 19, FIFA 20, even last year in FIFA 21, there were some really cool cards that were released as a part of this promo, right? A position change and then and also, I believe it was a five-star um, skills, five-star skill move Adama card that was released as a part of this promo last year. It's just crazy, these cards that always get released during for birthday. EA always do well with this promo. They always seem to kill it with the SBC content, with the objective content, and the cards that are in packs. That's why there's just a lot of hype in general for foot birthday, the promotion in itself. So let's look through some of this information that's being leaked and being talked about. Foot Sheriff, of course, the leaker here says, looks like foot birthday is the next promo. He already knows the objective uh, and something you guys will like a lot. I believe that's something that he was referencing there is a token system. Again, another token system. What this means is we've seen this three times now this year. We had the winter wildcard swaps. We had the future star swaps. And now it sounds like we're going to have foot birthday swaps as well. That just seems to be like the new thing that EA is doing with promos this year for whatever reason is they're adding in these swap programs, uh, which we don't have. I mean, they're great, right? You get some packs, you maybe get some cool players. It's just another part of a promo that they are adding in is seemingly in some of these promos this year and we like it right it's great so that's a big dub usually the promos that have those swap programs as well end up going over really well with the rest of the promo having really good content so uh of course him leaking this stuff about foot birthday and us knowing that this promo is usually towards the end of the month of march right he says here we're all thinking this as we read these leaks right yes i agree it's very early for this promo but i don't think there's a reason for them to list the objective that early in the token system right he's kind of questioning that now there is a small part of this again with leaks we always just believe with a grain of salt there is a small part of this that you know might just be kind of a smoke screen and kind of ea putting some information into the game uh, saying that, hey, foot birthday is going to be coming, but right now we're going to try to make you think that it's coming um, like right away and it might not actually be. So that's just kind of one thing to think about with all these leaks. It seems like like what promo would be next and if EA was adding stuff into the code and into the game to prepare for a promo this Friday, if we're getting information about it now, you would think that it would be this Friday. So I'm, I'm on the fence, honestly. It doesn't seem like it should be this early because it doesn't make sense for how it's been done in previous years, but maybe EA is going to switch it up this year. And of course, it does make sense because we haven't had a promo in the last week uh, that has been like a PAX based promo. So it would be a perfect time for them to get back into that rhythm with foot birthday. So uh, continuing up the list, we get a little bit more guaranteed information about foot birthday. It will again be based around five star skill move, 
or five star weak foot boost. And that was the big thing that was focused on last year in FIBA 21. You take a look at this squad, right? The Adama, as I mentioned, Kent, Atal, both five star, five star, Paulinho with the five star weak foot, Sterling with the five star skill moves, the five star weak foot, Modric, the Awar. Uh, and maybe if you even looked it back at, um, I think we'd have to go to, let's go all team of the weeks. Let's go back to FIFA 21 and look at the squad there for team one. Since we didn't take a look at team one, it only shows team two on the website. You've got Jamie Vardy. You have the center attack in Midsane, Inaki Williams, Lucas, Sambia, Tiago, Ferland, Mendy. So I think last year in FIFA 21, foot birthday was like a slight step downwards from where it was in the past. Um, but still a really, really good promo and a promo that everybody gets excited about. Again, with the five-star skill move, five-star weak foot boost uh, that everybody, everybody loves. So that's kind of the promo for birthday. Now, one thing to mention as well is if you think and look back to last year, I went back to one of my videos from last year and because I remember this happening. They did this sort of thing last year twice. They did it during foot freeze and during foot birthday where they had these like hints of which SBCs were going to be out. But we had leaks last year. This is kind of when leaks were starting to become normalized. Now, they're way crazier this year in FIBA 22, of course, as you guys know. But last year, they did these, they did these little teasers, right? Uh, and we knew all these cards like a day or two beforehand. It was kind of crazy. So it seems like, and I think even Foot Sheriff mentioned it in one of his tweets, he says, if Foot Birthday isn't the next promo, you can expect it like last year when everyone knew all the SBCs the week before. So he's saying, even if it isn't the next promo that will be dropped on the timeline, you know, adding all these SBCs in, we're, we're going to know the cards that are going to be added in as SBCs as a part of this promo, kind of like last year. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye out for and to keep a watch out for. Uh, but, you know, that that just raises a lot of questions. When is this promo going to be? Again, we talked about it potentially uh, being somewhere around either this Friday or honestly two weeks. And one of the reasons that we think it might not be this Friday is just going off of what we see have seen in previous years of FIFA, especially last year, right? Yesterday on Tuesday, we had the Foot Champions Plus objective that was released and whenever we saw this last year this meant that it was going to be a no promo friday basically until the very end of the year where they did overlap a little bit um this always meant that there was going to be a no promo friday um on the game so this of course dropping yesterday for some of our silver um playing with silver squad in foot champions playoffs or finals matches getting a certain number of wins to get those extra player picks we'll talk a little bit more about this later that has some people thinking that foot birthday might not be this weekend uh, or this Friday. Really what we're going to have to look out for uh, for today and even tomorrow, but specifically for today on Wednesday, since the Silver Star Series promo is ending, either today or tomorrow, we're probably going to get a loading screen of what's going to be next. I would be surprised if they would run two off weeks in a row. But again, one argument that's pretty convincing is last year, right before foot birthday, they had two weeks off of a promo with no promo between the what if promo and for birthday, we had two weeks off. So that's kind of how, you know, there's just a lot that is not set in stone. Now we could have a loading screen today and that would of course satisfy and tell us, satisfy all of our rumors and our fears and we would know what's going to be happening. So we'll be looking out for that loading screen and more leaks. I would presume that there's going to be some more conversations on Twitter, people talking about foot birthday type items and stuff like that. So that's one thing to watch out for today. And just kind of the whole gamut of information that we know right now about foot birthday and that next promo coming to FIFA 22. Um, if it's not foot birthday, then hopefully we would get some either loading screen and surprise information, or we would get, uh, uh, some leaks about whatever promo is going to be right up next. If there is something that's going to be before for birthday, which honestly, I, I don't know. We're going to have to find out today, tomorrow, what it's going to end up being. So that's kind of the whole foot birthday situation. Now, again, with foot birthday on the horizon, what's that going to do to the market? Again, we've been talking about it for the past few days. Just the market is so high, right? You look at road to the final cards. I mean, even this like Ansu Fati, who is just incredibly rare in, 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 on the market, this guy's 800,000 coins when he was literally 450k when he was in packs. He's almost doubled. And again, that's the most popular place to look right now on the market and to see these prices incredibly, incredibly high. I bought a Kempembe for 1.08 million coins. This guy is now 1.36, 1.37. He's ballooned in price, right? All of your road to the finals, people are making so many coins on these cards as they've exploded in price. 
And does Foot Birthday have a potential to drop these cards? Yes, five-star skills, five-star weak foot items, especially with a lot of these cards being investments for people that still might be holding. I know we have Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League games coming this next week, but, and we're gonna talk about this more so, as we head into the weekend, these cards are going to be very, very interesting and very, very crucial to watch because these cards might start to dip, especially if we do get confirmed leaks that foot birthday is going to be this Friday. You're going to start to see the whole market drop a little bit because, again, a promo with this type of hype five star skill move, five star weak foot you know, the knowledge of all of the cards that we have had, like back in FIFA 19, back in FIFA 20, FIFA 21, how hype foot birthday usually is as a promo then that's going to make some people sell, right? That's going to make some uh, people, even like me, say, hey, you should probably sell some of these cards because the market is definitely in a bubble right now and you're going to want to get out of some of those cards as they're you know, inflated and in that kind of like bubble stage. So if you have any of these cards that you don't see yourself using after foot birthday or if you just kind of want to get ahead of the curve, now is not a bad time to sell by any means. I'm looking at this Holland, 460K. That is so high in price. Foden, 438. All of these cards are just up so much because this week has been kind of a quieter week or a dead week for meta cards in this game. So again, I say I think that now is not a bad time at all for selling some of those really, really meta cards on this game with foot birthday looming. Um, you know, you're gonna have a lot of potential for market movements this weekend with a brand new promo of this capacity coming out into this game. So that's the one thing I'd say about the market right now. SBC fodder as well, it's a sell, 100%. This is a sell. These cards even went up or maybe stayed around the same price yesterday after the mid-icon player pick was released. Uh, 88, 88 rated cards, 40,000 coins, 89s or 29K. So maybe just down a tiny bit after yesterday's mid-icon player pick was very overpriced and a 95% downvote. People were not very happy with this being so expensive. Uh, but again, EA just refreshed that SBC and they didn't make it any cheaper, even though SBC fodder at the moment is through the roof because there's no supply, but there's still SBC demand. Um, and so you have this stuff that is continually going higher. So all fodder across the whole entire game, in my opinion, would be a sell uh, today, honestly, today or tomorrow after weekend league rewards. Uh, if people maybe go out and do a couple more SBCs with that fodder, that would be my opinion on that part of the market. Now, again, like I mentioned, something other that's going to something else that's going to be coming this weekend is potentially the icon moments. And now you can see them on the market, right? We were waiting for this to happen for basically confirmation uh, that, that these were going to be dropped. Because once you can search these in the game, then you know that it's legit, right? And we didn't see these last week. Now we see them in the game here. Seems like Saturday is going to be the day for some of these cards. There's also another very familiar face that has been added to the game. Danny Alves. Yes, he does not have a card yet, but he does have a name, a image. So that means he'll probably get it, be getting a card soon. As EA maybe do a last round of, you know, transfer players. There's still some transfer players that haven't been added from their new teams from the winter transfer window. It, it just seems like it screams foot birthday Danny Alves SBC. It really, or promo card, one of the two. Uh, it screams that that potential is going to be coming. So that's really cool. That's an SBC that so many people would want to get in their club or a card that's, that so many people would want to get. That'd be so hype and so cool. So just kind of keep that in mind. Not that it's guaranteed to come, but that, that potential is there and EA knows that potential is there. So I think they're not gonna be able to withstand not putting out a Danny Alves special card. So um, that's just kind of one thing I wanted to put out. And then also talking about the end of Silver Stars, if you're wanting to do any of these last few SBCs, again, I think this promo has been cool, right? It's been a different way of cool though. Yesterday we had the Danny Welbeck, the re-release of the Icon Player Pick like uh, I mentioned. And then we also had the uh, we also had the Podolski, which the Podolski is actually really, really cool. But this is one part of yesterday's content that maybe has us a bit confused. But there's some W's and some L's to this, right? Here's the first L with this, right? It's locked, at least as it says right now, it is locked from Team of the Week or to Team of the Week 23. So basically from this Foot Champions Plus objective, you have to win four, six, or eight games to get three extra player picks. One of three, one of four, one of five for each of the player picks. Um, full silver squad, including your substitutes. It can count playoffs or finals matches. Now, the W part about this is 
is that it's spread over two weekend leagues because it's available for the until the end of the season. So it's going to be available for 15, 16 more days until season three. What are we on right now? Season four until season four is over. This is going to be live. So it's not just for this weekend. Um, but the L part of this is if it's truly locked to Team League 23, which I think it will be, there's, I mean, what cards in Team of the Week 23 are really that worth playing for, right? The whole point that people were excited about for Foot Champions Plus upgrades during this coming Team of the Week is that Mbappe is expected to be in the Team of the Week 24 today that is getting released. And people are like, oh my goodness, I could get a red Mbappe, right? Of course, EA sees right through that. I mean, how many players in this team of the week are that dope for having a red card untradeable? This, especially at this later point in the year, extra team of the week red picks, it's basically just like you're collecting and hoping for extra fodder, right? Lewandowski, Kane, Aubameyang is cool, Sancho, cool, Ito is a cool card, right? But for most of this team, it's like, eh, you know, these cards aren't that great. If they were going to update this, I'd be surprised. I really don't think that this is going to update when the new Team of the Week comes out. I guess you could wait and see. But I think it's going to be locked to Team of the Week 23, which is going to be a bit of an L. And the other thing you're going to have, too, is I actually went into Foot Champions playoffs. I was 4-0 at the time. Went in with my silver team to Foot Champs playoffs yesterday. And matched up, I think, in like three or four games. And the first game I matched up against the Silver Squad, the next couple games, I matched up against people playing with their main team. And what you're going to see is if you're trying to play with your Silver Squad in Foot Champs this weekend or in qualifiers between now and then, it's going to be tough because there's no real way to separate the Silvers from the God Squads. And you're gonna, it's going to be just how lucky can you get trying to match somebody else with a Silver for an equal playing field. Uh, or playing somebody's main team. So it does create some fun aspects to that, being an underdog and trying to win, but also definitely not fair from a meta and gameplay perspective. You know, I understand what EA is trying to do here, get people to use those silver, um, you know, cards, but I think there's better ways to do this, right? Silver tournaments, again, everybody wants silver tournaments. We kind of have that with the silver gauntlet, but not really. It's not, it's a tournament, but it's also like, not a tournament at the same time. It's just interesting. It's different. It doesn't have that same tournament vibe or feel to it um, where you're only, you are only matching up with silvers. But I think some people are going to be happy that this Silver Stars promo will be in the background, in the mirror behind us um, because it'll be over um, and, and done with. And I think people are tired of looking at silvers. And yes, the promo was cheap and cool, but I think people are ready for, for meta stuff to be back again. And it, it's felt like kind of a week off for some people, which I totally understand and we did have the podolski yesterday as well which was dope i did that objective really really fast uh, and got it done so the silver squad again if you're if you're looking over this stuff and like man i don't want to do this i would still recommend going out and and doing a few of these they're really really cheap i mean you can do some upgrade packs i mean literally it costs you like a hundred thousand coins to do like four of these sbcs and it'll take you like a half an hour to an hour doing some gold and gold silver lounge to get the rest of these cards so it is a W in my opinion. It's just a different W again, kind of as we talked about all week long. So it's going to be an interesting Wednesday today. The number one thing I'm going to be looking for would be a loading screen. As we, again, we mentioned that Mbappe team of the week, uh, Mbappe's gold card is up a little bit because people expect it to be out of packs. Uh, I still think that if we do have foot birthday, even if Mbappe is in a team of the week, I think that a big foot birthday promo with five-star weak foot, five-star skill players would make this gold Mbappe as an out of packs item. If the leaks are insane and if the cards that are going to be getting into the team are really, really hype, I think this card could still drop even though he's out of packs. Uh, I'm going to keep a close eye on Mbappe's specials today just, just to see where they go. Uh, but the inform Mbappe is down. He's like 1.7 lows. Um, he was like 1.72 earlier. What is he right now? He's 1.74. So I'm going to keep an eye on this Mbappe and keep an eye on the um, headliner Mbappe as well because... As of right now, EA still has this thing messed up and you can't search for these cards um, without using the special filter because for some reason, the headliner streak filter is not available and the on there's only one man of the match filter that's available too. So like I just sold a Conte man of the match card, right? If I wanted to search this guy on the market, I have to either find a card, watch it and compare price or uh, I have to you know search special and do it the old way with the price ranges. So it's just uh, that part of the game is a little bit confusing right now at this moment. But that's kind of all the information that we have about the market, that we have about the content from yesterday. 
Today might be another bit of a quiet day unless EA have some sort of surprise up their sleeve. I really don't know anything else about content that's going to be released today on Wednesday, apart from the brand new team of the week. I'm sure EA will do something evidently two-footed. I think we're still waiting on a Musonda silver card, so we might see Musonda today. Two-footed probably refers to a five-star weak foot, so we will have to see what they do with that. But fingers crossed for foot birthday. I don't care if it's early. I really don't mind. It'd be a dope promo to have early. I would just like to know if it's coming or not, or if, am I, if I'm going to have to wait another couple weeks to actually see the great promo of foot birthday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. So again, if you enjoyed the video today, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.